I could be in a lot of trouble. F1 commentator suspended after insulting Lance Stroll remark. F1 commentator suspended after insulting Stroll live on air. F1 abuse crisis. Commentator suspended after shocking Stroll insult. Basically, on the French version of F1 TV, there is a man called Lionel Froissart. Lionel Froissart. And he's been fired after slagging off Lance Stroll during the broadcast of the Austrian Grand Prix. He referred to Lance as the autistic. Now, is that hurtful to people that have autism? Yes, of course. Is it funny? A little. Am I now slightly concerned that people are getting deplatformed for slagging off Lance Stroll? No, because whenever I've said anything negative about Lance Stroll, it's always been constructive criticism. Brain dead moron. Canadian moron. Lance Stroll. Lance Stroll is a useless c Seriously, how the f has he not been fired yet, the useless c Potentially inbred, because this is his sister. Aston Martin can't train Lance Stroll not to f into the barriers every single race. My father spent millions getting me into Formula One, and I'm such a f disappointment to him, our family, and the people around us. I should put myself up for adoption to save them any more shame. Also, I'm certain my girlfriend is f***ing her assistant. And why wouldn't she be? I don't blame her. She's so pretty and elegant, and I'm such a f***ing disgrace. What, am I going to fire myself? I'm not going to fire myself. How would that conversation even go? Excuse me, you've said some very disrespectful things about Lance Stroll. Yeah, and what? Well, I think you should apologise. Absolutely, I will not. You come in here with that fanny on the top of your head and you think you can say whatever you want. First of all, it's called a mohawk. And secondly, you can say whatever you want. It's called freedom of speech. That doesn't mean you have to be disrespectful. That doesn't mean you have to be disrespectful. See, this is what I'm talking about. That voice could be offensive to some people. That voice could be offensive to some people. You're making it worse. You started it. I was on their side. What do you mean, those people? people. I didn't say those people. I said I was on their side. What do you mean those types of people? I didn't say those. I swear to God. Why do you have to be so negative all the time? What do you think about Lance Stroll then? <sighs> yeah, he's a fucking spastic. You pig. I apologize for my colleague's behavior. Don't you dare. I will rip that thing off the top of your head. You'll do nothing. I will do you something. You will do I will, absolutely I will get out nothing. of this car. You do I not will exist. Get out you of are this just a car figment of and my imagination. You stupid you thing blah, blah, off the top blah. of your head. You look so you disrespectful stupid right now. Inconsiderate. You, you look so you look stupid. stupid. And you're your the one that looks ridiculous. stupid. Sitting you in the will garage do absolutely to nothing. Who does that? You I am not insane. concerned. I'm not going to fire myself. Even though I am a terrible person. And I really should not have a platform. And yet, here we are. So let's get back to the race. And some of you have been commenting, saying, I don't cover enough of what happens in the race in these race reaction videos. Like, for example, in the last video, I spent most of it talking about Greta Thunberg and the Bible. And the video before that, I was talking about a monkey that went to space. And the video before that, I was explaining how Formula One management were responsible for the Holocaust. I have heard your criticism, and so now I will do a full race rundown of everything that happened at the Austrian Grand Prix. On lap one, George Russell had a crash with Sergio Perez and received a five-second penalty. On lap four, Lewis Hamilton made a mistake at the first corner and was overtaken by Mick Schumacher. On lap nine, Tower 7 was a controlled demolition, but not many people know that. On lap 12, Charles Leclerc overtakes Max Verstappen for the lead of the race. On lap 17, a third plane hit the Pentagon, but only nine frames of CCTV was captured. On lap 18, Max Verstappen overtakes Lewis Hamilton. On lap 21, it was not just a shooting weekend. On lap 26, Sergio Perez retired. On lap 29, the moon landing was faked by Stanley Kubrick in 1969. On lap 33, Charles Leclerc overtakes Max Verstappen for the second time. On lap 35, Stanley Kubrick was poisoned by the Saturn death cult after he exposed them in his film Eyes Wide Shut. On lap 40, Pierre Gasly hit Sebastian Vettel, spinning him into the gravel. On lap 45, if you listen to Dark Side of the Moon and watch The Wizard of Oz at the same time, they match up 
perfectly. On lap 47, Lewis Hamilton received a black and white flag for track limit violations. On lap 51, there was more than enough room on that cupboard door for two people, you greedy bitch. On lap 57, Ferrari told Carlos Sainz he was on plan B. The B stands for burn to death. On lap 61, Boris Johnson resigned as the Prime Minister. On lap 62, Ghislaine Maxwell has been sentenced to 20 years in prison but will be dead by the time this video comes out. On lap 63, the US government was planning to commit acts of terrorism against their own people in 1962 in order to start a war with Cuba. These plans were rejected by JFK, who they assassinated less than a year later. On lap 64, we were somewhere around Barstow on the edge of the desert when the drugs began to take hold. I remember saying something like, I feel a bit lightheaded. Maybe you should drive. On lap 65, Charles Leclerc had a problem with his throttle pedal, which brought Max Verstappen back into contention. On lap 66, the elephant man committed suicide because he realised he'd never be able to wear a turtleneck jumper. On lap 67, I have no friends and my family hates me. On lap 68, there is a fish in the Amazon River that can swim up your cock. It's called a vampire catfish. On lap 69, Bridget Jones's diary is a fantastic film. On lap 70, the world is run by lizard people who control all the banks, own all the land, started every war, and are planning to phase out all human beings within the next hundred years. On lap 71, they're trying to build a prison, they're trying to build a prison, they're trying to build a prison for you and me, oh baby, you and me. So Max Verstappen now leads the championship by 38 points. Is that what you wanted? Is that what you wanted? Don't push me. I can't deal with criticism. Now it's time for the news, and the headline today is, and it's lights out and put her tits down, you pervert. F1 to act on reports of sexual harassment at the Austrian GP. Now, I know what you're thinking. Nikita Mazepin was serving hot dogs in the grandstands. Nope. He's still on his sightseeing tour of Ukraine, but apparently some of the men in the crowd thought they were at a Roman orgy. There were stories of women getting groped, having their dresses pulled up, men taking pictures of them without consent, verbal harassment, a woman got assaulted when a man grabbed her by the back of the head. It all sounds terrible. But don't worry, ladies, because Formula One themselves are dealing with this so you will never feel safe again. They released a very strongly worded statement. It said, We have been made aware of some reports that some fans blah 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 take these matters very seriously. This kind of behaviour is unacceptable and will not be tolerated. And it went on to say, Every woman attending a race will now be required to wear full body armour and chain their minge to a pit bull. That seems a bit excessive, but I can understand how it might work. Now, before we all go back to our miserable lives, I would like to explain something. If you've heard any funny noises in this video, like fuck or shit, that's because YouTube has started age restricting and demonetizing my videos. That's a problem because nobody can be bothered to verify their age and I want to buy a PlayStation 5. So from now on, this will be a family friendly show. Like, Jim will fix it, except I'm not a nonce. Apparently I can still drop a tiny little fuck every now and then, and I'm still good. And if you're wondering what a tiny little fuck is, it's what Lance Stroll's girlfriend calls his cock. That's so disrespectful. Oh, piss off. <laughs>